against the uh, Russian pairing Larissa Savchenko and Natalia Zavreva. Ladies, doubles final right from the start. Play. Fifteen love. So there's a happy girl indeed. Already with a singles crown. Now aiming for the doubles title as well. <laughs> Fifteen all. Larissa Savchenko. Thirty fifteen. Lovely, powerful service action. This Steffi Graf's. Thirty all. Natalia Sfereva, brilliant young player, only 17, with an easy volley there which she failed to make. Game start with Sabatini. First game. So, what an interesting partnership this Steffi Graf and Gabriella is, isn't it, Anne? I'm joined by Anne Jones for this match, and uh, these two are an exciting prospect to watch in a ladies' doubles final. Yes, they, they certainly team reasonably well both young and very athletic but i was just thinking bill what a wonderful moment it would have been for steffi today to walk back on that center court it's um it's a shame that uh, the weather has won today and uh, that opportunity wasn't available to her but however i'm sure the all four will be delighted to be able to play late though the hour is i think she might yet get that possibility and really because looking out of our window there are these low gray clouds scudding over and uh, if it rains of course that means there'll be play tomorrow and who knows what uh, will be decided then yes and there's some very dark clouds glowering at us however play continues love one first set Love 15. So that's one low volley and one high volley she's missed on the forehand. All. Well, I thought for a moment uh, she damaged herself. She sprawled forwards, which is rather a strange way to fall, and stayed there for some time. But she's a strong girl. Uh, that was a wonderful return, sir. 
15.30. She has this forehand peculi peculiar to her where she, uh, she needs to take the ball a bit late and there's a very definite wrist snap when she hits the ball. Gets a lot of speed. First service. Thirty all. Very young match this ladies final. She's just eighteen. Steffi Graf is nineteen. Forty thirty. That's a very good serve indeed. Swung so far away from Steffi that uh, no way she was going to reach that. Game, Ms. Savchenko, Ms. Sareva. One game all. So, the service of Gabriella Sabatini. Slightly remoulded service, this. Fifteen love. Dirty love. You notice this serve. There's uh, the take back is held for a long time stationary, and uh, she doesn't get a full smooth rhythm because of that. That's bad luck. Forty love. Good thinking. Sorry to say, there are spots of rain on the front of our commentary box. The play is suspended, ladies and gentlemen. And on this quite awful day at Wimbledon, which has been decimated by the rain, down it comes again. And of course this is precautionary to keep the court dry, but uh, we've only been on court for seven minutes as these girls beat a hasty retreat to the ladies' locker room. That was Bill Threlfall commentating on that match, or what little there was of it, what little tennis we've had today. I still can't tell you whether the men's singles final will resume or not. That's yeah, Sapchenko and Natalia Zebreda. We're into the final set. The third set is match point. And Jones Thank and Bill Threlfall. And once again, it's Natalia Zvereva facing match point here. Oh, what a brilliant smash at uh, such a moment. She it was in a game before this that had two. So having had two match points, she now faces the second match point against her. got to hand it to the Russian pair for coolness under fire because uh, this girl Natalia Zvereva the youngest player on court three teenagers and 21 year old Larissa she played a blinder then didn't she use
advantage Miss Zareva. And this girl, Larissa Sevchenko, the oldest player at 21, played marvellously well in the first two sets and then rather went off. Point for nine all. Jane, Mr. Chegg and Mr. Ava, full change. Nine games all, final set. Well, this is becoming a marathon here. This set alone has been on court for about an hour and ten minutes now. And we've had two match points for each team. So it's very much a matter now of steely nerves. Very difficult Quite conditions please. on court Thank two. You. Very windy, gusty. We've had sunshine and a strong wind throughout. But not sunshine throughout. Nine all. Oh. Oh. 15 at low. She's played a lot of unconventional shots this afternoon to great effect. Oh. 30, 15. Well, they nearly got a terrible tangle there. In another game, they lost, they lost the game by colliding with each other, both going for the same smash. being played at such tremendous Thank pace you. now at this very tense moment and that really was so powerful from Natalia. Nine all, thirty all. Oh. Nice oh. long. Thirty, forty. We've had a lot of broken serves in this match, but this wait, is wait, a wait, crucial please. point. Yeah. Thank you. Break point at nine all. <laughs> and that two-fisted backhand has been serving her so well, both off the ground and in the volley. Sabatini. Yes, she was a bit slow to read the stop volley. every ounce of nerve and sinew. Advantage, Miss Sabatini. Well, you feel at the stage of a match like this, you just cannot afford the slightest unforced error, or even a forced error. Point for 10-9. Miss Sabatini lead by 10 games to 9, final set. And uh, the scoreboard doing its best to catch up with the score here. Um, the four players have come and gone, haven't they? In, uh, all four of them, really, have played hot and then cold. And uh, as I see the situation at the moment, Gabriella Sabatini has been very much the rock of that partnership. And, and surprisingly, Steffi Graf rather slow at times. 
Yes, but I think that a lot of it was at the beginning. Steffi had to really uh, goad Gabby into working hard. And uh, although they're both very good singles players, part of it is they haven't worked particularly well together as a pair all through the championships, but they have fought harder today. And uh, partly, too, um, Larissa Savchenko's had the same role here. She's been the leader of the partnership, Hi. but she has struggled, I think, on the opportunities they've had to actually win this match and put themselves in a winning position. She's played very, very well when they've been the ad point down, the, the game down, but she hasn't been able to produce her best when it really would have led them on to victory. Excellent doubles player, a lot of power all round but her service has been, been uh, fallible the last three or four times. She's had a bit of trouble, Steffi Graf, trying to play fierce forehand drives from mid-court when the ball's a bit low. Oh, Only just out. That is long. Tremendous amount of topspin on that, and it was a risky call to say out from one of the Russians. Yes, sensible. Forty love. Exploiting that centre of the court. There is a Sevchenko, forty love. First service. out. Ten games all, final set. So, a nice safe service game by Larissa Sevchenko. No hint of nerves there. Having to face very fierce, fierce drives too. So, Steffi Graf, ten all. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. And this is a sign of the leadership Love. role that Larissa has played in this match. She steps in, gets a lot of topspin, and an extraordinary angle on that forehand. Fifteen all. Bit hazardous hoisting lobs, which are as deep as that. Wind is playing funny tricks down there.
15. He's been good and safe overhead. Very safe with the volleys, but not always decisive, not always putting them away. Better that than an error. 40-15. Okay, Miss Crawford Sabatini. <laughs> Miss Crawford and Miss Sabatini lead by 11 games to 10. Final set. And nerves holding steady so far. I think uh, Steffi playing a major role in that bill. She has one championship in her pocket, and that gives her that little bit of extra security which is needed in such a tight final set as this. The last championships match on court for this year. Steffi's forehand has been very good, her overhead very severe and just a few careless mistakes when in actual fact this pair could have rumped ahead in the second set. On the other hand both these young ladies have served for this match. <laughs> Natalia had two match points on her delivery but Larissa Savchenko lost her opportunity to love. Time. And the crowd moving over from the centre court, the final of the men's singles having been completed. The standing area in particular getting quite crowded and the noise accompanying them. Some tremendous support which is nice for both teams. Serving to stay in the match. Now that was a terrible fault really, missing by about a yard and a half. This really the weakest of the four serves on court. Sabatini really playing some fizzing, powerful shots now. <laughs> Tragedy for the Russians that because Graf and Sabatini 40. now have their third. Thank match you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Quiet, please. Cool nerves, I'm sure, as before. victory for Steffi Graf and Gabriella Sabatini and we're all delighted for them. I feel really sorry for the for the Russians Miss here. Miss Graf and Miss Sabatini win by two sets to one. 6-3, 1-6, And I feel, uh, I was just saying there that uh, Wonderful for these two, of course, these two colossal competitors who we're going to see so much of in the future. But uh, I'm just saying how sorry I did really feel for the, for the Russian pair. It would have been a totally historic moment for not only for these two girls, but for Russian tennis. Yes, they certainly played superb tennis, Bill. And 
be unlucky to very unlucky to lose it. Well, I think talking of history, Anne, we're going to have a little bit of history down here because uh, I don't recall another final played on court two, which has had the presentation on court two. I remember the. Uh, the Australians, McNamee and uh, McNamara, getting their trophies on court one when they won the doubles once. And here is Peter Morgan, the man who is responsible for seeing players to their courts on time. And here is His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent, followed by Mr. Buzzer Haddingham, of course, chairman of the club. And the Duke is the president of the All England Club. And what a lovely gesture by him to come to the players instead of the players coming to him. Of course, the centre court, I imagine, would be a rather empty, lonely place if the players had gone there and there wouldn't have been all that much applause there. So these lovely silver... It's a wonderful but rather sad and poignant moment for these two girls. But it was a very gallant effort, though, Bill. They fought hard, they had their opportunities. and well worth delaying their flight back to Moscow. Gabby's first Wimbledon title, and I'm sure it won't be her last. And some consolation, Bill, for losing in the singles and feeling so disappointed, all she wanted to do was get on a plane and go back to Buenos Aires. Absolutely, yes. But that was last week, and now a great moment for her. Well, these pictures will be flashing around the world this evening and tomorrow of these two fantastic competitors. And of all the girls in... Uh, Ladies tennis at the moment, Anne, I suppose these are the two who are going to figure largely in our thoughts in years to come. Yes, possibly Bill, as competitors rather than partners. Impossible to predict that at the moment, but it, certainly the women's scene looks to be headed in that direction. And we mustn't forget uh, Svereva as well. She's a rising force in the singles game, isn't she? 